Hi, this is BFM Spotlight. I'm Uma, and today I have with me Joe Pearson, producer and director of War of the Worlds Goliath, Malaysia's first 3D animated film, which kicked the ass of Paranorman and Madagascar 3 at the 3D Film yeah. Festival. So, great to have you on. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be back in Malaysia. Uh, I spoke to Leon uh, about a month ago on a movie show we do called WTF What the Flick. I heard and, it. Uh, I uh, yes, heard you it. checked out the podcast. Very good interview. <laughs> and uh, so now I'm going to ask you uh, the exact opposite questions. What was it like what? working with Malaysians? What's our talent pool like? Well, you know, your talent pool is small but very, but very, very good. Um, the best design team I've ever worked with in the world is a Malaysian design team at Studio Climb. Wow, yeah. They're really first rate. And truthfully, in the States, I couldn't afford a team as good as them, you know. Wow. So they were good. They're going to go far, uh, hopefully with us and with other producers. Um, the design team in, in post-production and audio at Imagine X. When you see the film, if you, if you get to see the film, and please come and see the film, the Imagine X sound, uh, music, score, effects will blow you away. It, it's fully cinematic. Have right. you seen Have you seen any clips? I haven't seen anything yet. I'm looking forward. To, I've seen it on the uh, opening on the Ace, so yeah, I'm looking forward okay. to that. It's not going to be my first time. Um, now, from what I understand, the movie you didn't uh, initially plan to make the movie in 3D, and 3D was something you thought about doing later. Yes, that's correct. Uh, and so, what? push that decision, because 3D is still a bit expensive, isn't it? It is. Well, we, first of all, we had to make a couple of decisions early on, actually about midpoint in the production, that uh, completely changed the course of the film. Mm -hmm. One was that we went from a 70-minute direct-to-video movie right. to a full theatrical 90-minute movie and in 3D. <laughs> right. yeah, it was a high-stakes decision, but the footage looked so strong that was coming in from our final uh, production unit in Korea we were frankly amazed by it. We, the quality, the levels of, of effects and texture and depth was really looking good. Right. And we th were watching the DVD market at the same time tank, you know, thanks to uh, downloads Don't and piracy. Don't like downloads, yeah. Yeah, so we were thinking, uh, how are we going to make our money back off of this? And we looked at the footage and said, you know, our best bet would be to upgrade and go to a, a full theatrical release. And then... Right. Uh, at the same time, we were watching 3D films, and they were looking very strong, and 3D seemed to be a coming trend. And our movie, because of its rich texture and layering, really lends itself to a 3D conversion. So right. we decided to upgrade to a 3D film. As a, um, as a director of films like this, I mean, what is your philosophy of 3D? Because from, from what it looks like, it seems like 3D is moving away from the <laughs> in your face um, to actually being more subtle. Well, our 3D is extremely subtle. I, I actually kind of like it in your face myself. I, if you're gonna, Joel's if you're 3D kind of. Yeah, if you're going to do 3D, why not do it? But the same, you, actually, my favorite 3D film is Hugo by Oof, Martin stunning. Scorsese. And, yeah. and that's, not, that's not very uh, restricted 3D. He really pushed it. And it, it worked in Hugo because it creates its own little universe, like yeah. a fairy tale in a picture book. But I've seen some bad 3D in your face as well. But it, Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil is a perfect example. <laughs> it's a perfect example. It's an awful movie on every level. But the 3D was... But we made the decision, actually, to look at what Disney did on The Lion King. We right. studied that yes. a lot. And, and that was subtle, but, but there. And I think one of the reasons we got the award for Best 3D Film was that our 3D quality, which was all done in Malaysia mm -hmm. at Base Camp Studios mm -hmm. with the Malaysian team, our 3D is, is, is quite strong. It's very... It's there when you need it, but it doesn't like pull you out of the picture. Right. So, so you're 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 actually a proponent of three D. You're not one of these people that thinks it's just gimmicky. Well, there is a gimmick to it, and yeah. I think films can be just as good without three D as in three D. But three D can enhance the experience. And, right. And I think in War of the Worlds, it, it's great. It's a really look. You should see it in three D. You shouldn't wait for it on DVD. You should go out and and see it on the big screen in 3D. So, so I've got a little bit of a technical question. So the problem, so the problem that I have with 3D at the moment is it always seems a little dimmer. Yes. Um, and is it, why is that? Is it just a matter of, of, of screens and cinemas not calibrating the scenes to make things brighter, or is well, there it, actually a technical issue? There is there? a technical issue, which I'm, I'm not fully qualified to address, but I would say that it, it does make it dimmer. So what we did with War of the Worlds is we made a full uh, print uh, after we, first of all, we did a full color correction for the normal DVD. I right. worked with a uh, color correction artist, Alan, at, at Basecamp, who is, is great. He does theatrical film color correction. And what he did to the footage w was stunning because the character suddenly took on a lot more depth. 
Right. They took on uh, much richer textures. In fact, Alan and I pushed really hard to go into deeper shadows. I, I had to restrain them a little, but you know, it's nice to see solid blacks on the screen. And yeah. it's nice, you know. But for three D, what we did was we made the the final print and color corrected print. Then we just lightened it all up universally and took that into 3D. So it matches the same quality as our non-3D print. Very cool. Uh, do you plan on working with us? I say us as a, as a collective <laughs> Malaysia <laughs> once again. Oh, ab absolutely. I had a, a terrific, you know, there's something about the Malaysian character and spirit that, that's really joyful. And I think that's because in, in a way like America, you're a multicultural country. Mm -hmm. And when I think about your history and how you could have devolved into a religious ethnic civil war and you guys didn't, even with a Chinese dominated communist revolution, you guys defeated them and then pulled back. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that makes Malaysia a really exceptional country. I mean, compare that to what happened next door in Indonesia. That's right, and, that's right. And I think yeah. a lot of that's a Malaysian character. And I think your talent pool is vast, your your spirit is good. Your government is willing to nurture that talent pool and to nurture filmmakers. So for all those reasons, and, and the fact that I have a lot of good friends and I, and I like the Malaysian food, <laughs> I'd like to come back. Yes, oh, I want to do much more. Uh, before I let you go, though, uh, I hear a rumor that uh, you had to tone down the movie a little bit. So is there going to be a director's cut on the DVD? Yeah, there is. There's a director's cut that's... Fantastic. Purely R-rated, you know. There's some spicy activity between two of our main characters. And <laughs> we only hint at that in the in this film. And there's a few right. more. There's just a very few uh, scenes that are a little more explicit right. in terms of the blood and guts that we've we've toned down. And right. and there's some naughty language. All right. You know, right. There's a lot of use of a word a B, beginning with a B. <laughs> and I think all of that has been trimmed from the Malaysian. Right. And I haven't actually seen the final version that goes into Malaysia, but okay. I'm pretty sure that's all been trimmed. Down. Well, thank you so much, Joe. Um, I look forward to watching War of the Worlds Goliath. It'll be in cinemas. Make sure you catch it in cinemas so you can see it in all its 3D glory. Yes, absolutely. Um, thanks so much. And, oh, thank and, and good job. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thank you.